When your printer isn't working properly, there are steps you can take to troubleshoot the issue and find the cause of the problem. The best method for troubleshooting your printer requires you to check the printer hardware, connection, and then software. First, verify that the printer's hardware is working. This would mean that the printer is powered on, has ink and paper, and no error lights or warning messages are displayed on the printer. Next, check the connection. If your printer is connected with a USB cable, make sure the cable is plugged in properly to both the back of the printer and to the computer. If your printer is connected to a computer or mobile device wirelessly, you'll need to check the network connection. To do this, you can print a network configuration page. A network configuration page, also known as a LAN details page, provides information about your printer's Wi-Fi connection. As long as your printer has power, paper, and ink, you can print this sheet, even if your printer is not currently connected to or printing from your computer or mobile device. There's a lot of information on the LAN details printout, but there are four lines on this report that are important when troubleshooting network connectivity issues. By making sure these four lines meet the conditions necessary for wireless printing, you can determine if your printer is connected properly and rule out if the underlying printing issues are caused by the Wi-Fi connection or something else. The signal strength, which is a measure of the connection between the router and the printer, should be 80% or higher. If this number is below 80%, the weak signal could be the reason your printer isn't working consistently or properly. Try moving the printer closer to the Wi-Fi router or temporarily disconnect some of the other devices connected to the network to boost the signal strength. The connection line tells you if your connection is active or inactive. If your printer is currently connected wirelessly, this line will say active. If you recently changed your router or reset your printer, this may read inactive, and you may have to re-establish the Wi-Fi connection. The SSID line should display the name of your wireless network. If the printer and the computer or mobile device you're printing from are not connected to the exact same Wi-Fi network, they won't be able to send information back and forth. The fourth important line tells you the IP address. This number is assigned to your printer and works like a mailing address, telling the router where to send the information you'd like to print or where the information is coming from when you scan. If this number is valid, it will begin with a 10 or a 192. If any of these four important conditions we've looked at on the network configuration page are not met, your printer will likely have trouble when trying to print or scan wirelessly. The third troubleshooting step is to check the software that allows your printer to print. You'll need to make sure that your printer is installed correctly on your computer and make sure to select the correct printer name when you click print. If you're using a mobile device, you may need to download the Canon Print app. If you need to reinstall your printer, you can visit the Canon website at usa.canon.com support. In the center search box, enter your model name, click Software and Drivers, and download and install the latest drivers for your printer. Following these troubleshooting steps should help you determine why your printer isn't working properly and help narrow down possible solutions. For more videos, please visit our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.